I can't see from here. My binoculars are still in my bag. 20 miles west in Pisgah State Park, Conservation Officer Eric Hannett begins his morning looking for fishing activity. I hope they are. The truck is such a mess. Uh oh. Who the hell are my binoculars? Don't tell me I left them in Bill's truck. That's not good at all. My bag's here. My radio's in here. My life jacket that I was wearing is in here. How's it going? How the bugs biting? Horrible. If you go out to like the bridge where it's sunny, yeah. there's all kinds of dragonflies everywhere. Yeah. You guys just out for a walk? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anybody else out there? Um, not that we saw. Yeah. Good enough. Take care. Well, I don't have any binoculars, so that sucks. I don't see anyone else. It's a little uh, kayaking. Officer Hannett receives a text from dispatch. We got a baby raccoon in the dumpster. Hello? Hello, Ruth? Yeah? Hi, this is Eric Hannett calling the Amps Fish and Game. Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, so what's going on? The raccoon has been in the dumpster. And um, poor little thing is so scared. OK. It keeps going back in that's with some food. Sure. That's understandable. Yeah, yeah, can't blame them. All right, well, I'll, I'll swing by and, and uh, see if I can, you know, help it out. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. Yes, bye bye. Bye bye. We get this quite often where raccoons will go into a dumpster, but there's not enough stuff in the dumpster to let it get out. Just gotta figure out which dumpster it is now. That's probably Ruth right there. Hi. Hi. Careful, a raccoon don't get you. Did you guys call about you? You're not Ruth, are you? Either one of you? No, I was the one with her. Oh, okay. Still in there? It's rabbit. No, it's not a rabbit. If it were a rabbit, it would be snarling and trying to bite you in the face. It's very common. People think that because the animal's out um, that it's rabid, but it's acting normal. It's just trying to eat, trying to find food. I think it's probably just, it's kind of scared. I think if we can just kind of well, leave it. because I came out and, and found it at 6 o'clock this morning. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so I called the maintenance people. Yep, yeah, this is good. It'll come, it'll be able to climb right up out of this. You think it yep, will? Yep, definitely. I mean I, I mean, I could try to snare it, but I don't, I, you know, you could end up hurting it. Just. I think we're better off just leaving it be and, and everyone kind of staying away. And Well, the only thing is, there's going to be a lot of trash coming in here. Mm -hmm. And if it and It's moves, good. We're bringing it lunch, right? <laughs> Wait, unless it dies, I'll die. Nah, die. it'll be fine. The thing to do now is just leave it alone. You know, and I get it. They're interested in it. They want to see it, but it'll come out on its own. I'll be around, and I'll swing by later on. Well, I just don't want it to get busy yep. and have everybody jump Yeah, and it's not a baby. It's a, it's a good-sized one. Yeah, it'll be fine. In the meantime, people just keep bringing it lunch. Okay, so if I could stay in here and get fed all day long, I probably would too. I found a tree, a uh, cat stuck up in the tree. Oh, really? We don't deal with cats. <laughs> we don't deal with domestic animals, just wild ones. Just wild? Just wild ones. All right, well. Thank you so much for coming by. You're welcome. A happy ending. Sergeant Glenn Lucas responds to a call he received earlier that day about a nuisance porcupine at a vacation house. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? I'm going to wash your dishes. Oh, I don't mind. So you want to point me to the issue? So is it chewing on the house? Oh, right here. I didn't look down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it was just this. Uh, we just got it's here. It's not going to end, yeah. Monday, no. and then now it's over there. Over there. OK. Yeah. So I got a trap. All right. But two things we can do. One, we'll set the trap right here. OK. <clears throat> but also, if you have, like, Tabasco sauce, oh, yeah. uh, if you sprinkle it on there. I'm a Tabasco sauce guy. See, yeah. perfect. All right. So sprinkle some. Some on there. But hopefully, he'll go to the trap. But if we Tabasco this, and he says, right. oh, it's gross, right. oh, look at there, there's some lettuce. Right. Right. Yeah, I, so didn't, cool. I didn't realize. So the porcupine and eating wood, you know, being from the city. The sh are you I, from Chicago? Chicago yeah. yeah, right. And I can get you some ribs on the side. <laughs> <laughs> dealing with porcupines. That's not my thing. It's not your thing. Yeah, it's not my thing. Well, that's my that's thing. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Plus, we're having ribs tomorrow if you'd like to stop by. Oh, really? What time? 
That's why he's in there. Okay, if I'm back around, I might swing by. <laughs> if I, maybe I'll pick up the porcupine right. at two. There you That'll work perfect. I love it. I love it. Let me get the trap. If you All got right. a couple little things, couple yeah, things of lettuce, we'll throw it in and okay. cool. Very nice. All right. So I didn't notice, but the porcupine's actually chewing right on the front step. I was talking to them and not really looking down, but uh, it's definitely causing some damage to the house. So we'll see if we can set this thing up and get it relocated to a better habitat. Okay, I think I can do this. There we go, okay. Yeah, I don't need much. These guys aren't salad eaters. Just, no? Right. I got a trap with me that's referred to as a have a heart trap, but it's a it's a live trap where an animal goes in, it doesn't get harmed at all, it just holds it inside of it, and it allows us to go get it, safely transport it to another location, and, and let it go in a nice spot where it can live a happy life. Give them a nice display of a delicatessen here. And, right, isn't that nice? <laughs> so I think we're in good shape. Hopefully it gets caught overnight or during the day tomorrow, we'll come pick it up and take care of it and move on to something else. Yes. Two o'clock tomorrow. That's a deal. <laughs> All right, thanks, my friend. Okay. Take it easy.